guys. Just getting a massage. Chilling, relaxing. But that's right. I did make it on TMZ. And it was crazy. Anyways, let's check out the clip. Welcome back to TMZ Live. I still think this is the most bizarre thing. This uh, ongoing negotiation between Mariah Carey and James Packer for a settlement when they were never, ever married. But now <clears throat> we have found out uh, the terms of the prenup that they were trying to negotiate. And in fact, how, how is months and months ago they intended to be married. So check this out. March 1st, James Packer desperately wanted to marry Mariah Carey in Bora Bora. Problem is, they needed a prenup. Uh, and the lawyers were all involved, and it was bogging down. It wasn't going to get ready by March 1st. It was a 100-page document. And he's like, I want this thing signed. And the lawyers, one of them dared to write back to him, you have to do as I say. And he, <laughs> he, he, he emailed that back. That does not go, does not sit well with the boss <laughs> he, when he is a multi-billionaire. He emails, me, emails him back, do as I say or blank off. I want to get married on March 1st. Well... Well, uh, there was another problem with this, uh, of course. So he couldn't do it because Mariah still wasn't divorced uh, right. from Mariah, Nick Cannon. The problem is that Mariah wasn't divorced. So they were going to have a commitment ceremony, but still they needed a prenup because the lawyers wanted to protect James Packer. Well, and on one hand, we all understand why. This guy has billions of dollars. And, of course, it, there's things in the law where if you live as husband and wife, she could have come back and said that whatever, she could have had a lot of his fortune or some of it at least from what he earned after that. The problem is James Packer's, as you said, Harvey, his attorney's, and advisors are like, whoa, 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 whoa. You cannot marry her in two weeks from now. This email you're talking about was on February 17th, like two weeks before the marriage was supposed to happen. And they're like, don't do this. Now, what's interesting, we also found out that a broad agreement was made um, about how much Mariah would get if they got married in this prenup, which was 50 million. Hmm, sounds hmm. familiar. Sounds that familiar, number. that number, that now Mariah is asking for the same amount because of the promises he made. No, and my no, guess no, is no, 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 the no, promises no. is what was in the prenup that well, she says. No, no, no. And also, but, she's well, asking for 50 million, but she says it's because A, she, she got out. so distraught over what he allegedly did to her assistant on that boat. And, uh, the, the yacht in Greece. in Greece that she had to cancel her South American leg of her tour and he uprooted her made her move to California and she had uh, to cancel cancel uh, yeah and and, so, and, and, and and he wanted to be near his kids so she had to move so she is saying that it is coincidental that she wants 50 million dollars for all of that which just happens to be the amount of the prenup this is Sean from Fremont California and I think it's kind of nuts because it's it's an agreement that was just verbal. It never actually went permanent. So uh, I don't think it should be uh, honored. And I think the the whole situation is kind of nuts. Uh, it's just on a on a verbal agreement, and nothing went official. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. We can't avoid it any longer. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's rack it up. Here we go. <laughs> Hate mail.